G'day Chris, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota. Mate, just want to run over this Hilux SR5 with you that you fired on. Um, before I do so, so Pacific Toyota, we run two large pre-owned vehicle yards. One from the main location, but I've just come down to the city yard to fire this vehicle with you. Um, so basically, just going to go over the full condition of the vehicle, show you as much as I can about it. Um, and basically, uh, we can go from there should you have any questions. Um, so just going to the bull bar, so it does have the genuine alloy bull bar with the IPF uh, spotlights on the front. Um, on here, one's a pencil, one's a, uh, a uh, spread beam, so that way you're getting the best of both worlds for your lighting. Um, it does have the OHF aerial on the front of the vehicle as well, um, so all nice and handy. Just going to go close up to the paintwork on the car. Um, it is in pretty good nick, this vehicle. Um, it's been pretty well looked after, which is what you want to see. Um, but I can't really fault the bonnet. I can't see any real major marks or scratches on it um, But it is quite bright here in the Sun um, You do run the LED headlights um, in these for the high beam sorry for the low beam and then you do have your LED um, uh, What do you call it daytime running lamps above it as well as your high beam in there um, being standard halogen Just coming out of the top of the front guard As you can see no major damage um, plenty of tread on the tyres as you can see there, so you're not going to be up for a set of tyres anytime soon. They are running the uh, the Kumos as well, um, which are a really good tyre, um, really quiet um, tyre. Um, and uh, you know, like I said, you're not going to be up for a set anytime soon. Um, just going to get in and around in here just to show you how clean the car really is. Uh, it's been really well looked after this one. Um, so it's a real credit to the previous owners uh, but how well they've looked after it. So just coming down the panelling on the side of the vehicle, as you can see, no major dents or scratches, all in really good condition this car. Um, it's coming down through there. I'm just going to do a wide angle for you as well. So as you can see, you run down the lines, there's no major bumps or bruises there. Um, as I come back, I do want to go over the door cards as well for the vehicle so you can see the interior. So just coming through there, all really well looked after. Inside the car, flooring, no major stains or anything like that. The car's all been really well looked after. It's got a more hardy material. I actually own one of these. Um, they're quite durable um, as far as fabric seats are concerned. Um, they're really good in that sense, um, just for what I use it for. Um, you've got the nice dash on these as well with the, the big large display in the centre. Um, but I'll come back to that and go over that a bit more in depth with you. Um, you do still have the cup holders that Toyota are renowned for in front of the aircon vent. So nice and handy through there. Um, and you do get your dual storage. So top side and bottom as well. Uh, so that's all that there. Um, just coming back to the rear of the vehicle. Do the rear door card for you all through there. As well as the rear seat. Perfect. Okie dokie. It does have the tonneau cover on it, um, being the soft one. The real handy thing is um, with these, obviously they don't have the loops as they come down, and to use them, they're, they're quite easy. You just peel them off like that. They sit in the rail, and when you need to pop them back on, it's just a matter of clipping, just like so. Um, but I'm gonna open up the tailgate, so I'll open this back one up for you all the way over. Uh, we can have a look inside, because it does have the tub liner as well with the extra hooks. So you can see all that through there, genuine tub liner. Uh, would have been fitted by a Toyota at new. And also on the rear tailgate itself. So all nice and handy, just means the car's been looked after. Um, as well as that, it does have the tow bar um, with a seven pin flat plug, which is a genuine setup on here. Um, so nice and easy um, to use. Just doing a bit of a more of a wide angle for you. Your reverse camera as well does live in here, um, so nice and easy. Um, if you ever need to give it a clean, um, just a microfiber cloth on there. Um, but with that, your reversing camera is right over your tow bar, which makes it quite easy to reverse up on. Okay, so I have found a little bit of a dent here, um, nothing too major, um, just there. So once again, quite minor for, for how well the condition of the vehicle is. Um, so just continuing down that panel inside the vehicle. So as you can see, plenty of tread on those tyres. Very clean chassis setup. So 
So this car hasn't spent much time off road by the looks of things and how well this has been looked after, which is good. Okay, so once again, continuing down the panelling, and then I'll go back and do the, um, the interior of the vehicle. All the way through there, there's another little bruise here that I can see. Um, so that's two I've been able to find so far over the whole vehicle. Once again, tread on the front tyre, plenty of tread in there. And once again, just showing it all through the inside of the suspension system there as well. Look, I'm just going to jump up to the back here so I can go over the door cards again for you. Perfect, all really well looked after. And the rear seating. Now these seats as well, they do fold up, which is handy. Um, so just like so, um, you do have storage compartments. On this side, it's actually where your jack and tools live. Um, and on the other side, you just have an empty storage container there. So pretty practical, nice and easy. You do have keyless entry as well, which is just through this button just there. Um, if the key was in your pocket, you press it, that'll unlock the car, um, etc. Um, so this has obviously been the main uh, traffic area for getting in and out of the car, being the driver's side. So as you can see, no real major wear and tear. Um, it's a real credit to the previous owners who own this car. Um, anyone who does get this vehicle will uh, be quite impressed. Um, just doing the, rear, the front seat as well. All really well looked after through there. So jumping on in. So on here, I'll just quickly do this. So come up with the odometer for us. Um, so the odometer currently has 73,437 kilometres on it. Um, and also our, we've serviced the vehicle, meaning the next one is due at 83,000 kilometres. So all nice and handy through there. Um, on top of that, your steering wheel controls. So you're on this side here, that all controls your multi-information display in front where everything on this side controls your screen and your center here. Um, so you've got your volume up and down, you can change through your radio station, different modes, as well as your voice recognition. So nice and easy, um, basically you press that. It's like using Siri if you have an iPhone. Um, you just tell the car to call whoever it is you're chasing and they'll do so. You then got your mobile phone controls here for answering and hanging up for when you receive calls. Um, so just means that you can do a lot with the infotainment system in this car and not take your eyes off the road. So all nice and handy. Um, once again, got the large display. That will become your reversing camera as well. Um, as you can see the screen side of things through there, because it is the SR5, it's also satellite navigation inbuilt. Um, which is quite handy because Toyota's sat nav system actually brings up your major parks um, uh, like Fraser Island, um, stuff like that. Um, so if you do, are doing any off-roading, you can rely on the Toyota map to a degree. Um, you do run a climate control system, so this side will do your speed, this one will do your temperature. Um, obviously you've got your auto and your different modes through there. Um, then you've got your four-wheel drive system. So you can go between H2 to H4 up to 80 k's an hour. Um, so on the fly, so if you're doing any beach driving on the hard sand, you can flick it back to two wheel drive. As long as you're under 80 k's an hour, flick it into H4 and basically it'll engage um, on the fly. Um, as well as that, you've got your rear diff lock. Now that's for when you go into low range. Now actually I might explain that a bit better. Um, so what happens is when you're in H4, you then have the ability to go to low 4. How you do that is you come to a complete stop, go into neutral, you'll then push it as it says and then swap that around to L4 and then that's when it'll allow you to access your downhill assist control and your rear diff lock. Um, so your rear diff lock comes quite in handy, um, they're, they're, they're very good um, as far as uh, doing uh, I suppose high articulation work, um, even beach driving if you're towing um, and you're, you're getting through some really tough areas. Um, your downhill assist control, that is got to be the best thing since sliced bread. I've got it in my car. I've never really used it before until I had my car. Um, but basically coming down to sand dune, this has allowed the car to travel a bit faster. And all I had to worry about was steering and it kept the car in control. Um, so it was kind of peace of mind of not having to rely on myself. Um, and the car was able to take over as far as um, keeping the car in line. Um, you do have two power supplies as well in there. Um, so nice and handy. As well as that, you will have an inbuilt 100 watt inverter in the center console here. Um, so all nice and uh, nice and tucked away, but practical. You do have a UHF as well, as you can see just through there. Um, so once again, tucked away, it is a GME system. Um, so 
that works with the aerial on the bull bar, obviously. Um, you do get two modes as well for driving style, um, power mode and eco mode. This car is probably the most drastic where I actually noticed the major changes in that. Um, so power mode basically changes the throttle response and gives you everything the car um, basically delivers. Um, where eco mode does quite the opposite, it'll actually run the AC compressor less um, in order to put less load on the motor. Um, and also it will, um, how could you say, uh, change gears as soon as possible in order to uh, keep the revs down to save fuel. Look, that kind of concludes the virtual tour for today. Um, I'm just gonna do one last walk around of the vehicle. Um, and basically any questions you have, you can give us a buzz. Okie dokie, thank you for your time today Chris, mate, if you can give us a call on 0410 839 933 and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have, thank you.